Hello and welcome. Welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space. I'm Olivia. This is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia here to do your daily pick tarot reading. And I do want you to know that here there is love, which means that I do this with love and I do it with love for you. That's true. And it's true love. <laughs> um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. In fact, I've been calling out names um, of people who support me in this and my uh, tarot reading business. Um, I found it to be extremely exciting and fulfilling, and I'm really enjoying helping people. And I do want to specifically thank Maggie and Tanya. I also want to specifically thank Merritt, Caroline, and Joel, and Delma and Tallulah. <laughs> I want to make sure I call out everybody's name, everybody, every, each one of you subscribers. I, it's a tiny little channel, so I love, um, I love your comments. I love your subscriptions. I feel like, um, I feel like y'all are my real in-person live friends. I feel a real connection here. So shout out to you guys. Um, okay, let's look at our card toppers today. So we have the beautiful and lovely um, golden trimmed leaf in amber and brown. I also see a little green in there too. And the next we have the mysterious arrowhead made out of probably obsidian or onyx. And then we have the turtle. The turtle who can represents wisdom and age, also virility. I'll tell you why another time. <laughs> they also are able to hibernate for long, long periods of time. I just read a story on <laughs> Facebook about a turtle that was found 16 years in the house when they cleaned the house. For, it had been missing for 16 years. Um, and then we have our happy shop cap um, that was given to me by a friend who got that from Japan, which is very exciting. So let us do our thought of the day. We're going to do it from our, can you see that? Healing the mind and spirit cards. Let's go ahead and get a good focus there. And I'm going to just start shuffling these cards. And I don't really have anything else to say, prepared to say as I shuffled, because I really should have been shuffling this whole time. You know what? I think I'm going to pick this card. I think I'm going to cut the deck. I'm going to go ahead and pick from the bottom. And let's see what we have today. It says, I am not affected by the negative emotions of others. That is quite a feat sometimes. I am not affected by the negative emotions of others. Continue to listen, to learn, and to love, even if someone else is angry, hurt, or fearful. That can be very difficult to do even with our own children i know however it's really why we're here we're here to listen or at least i know that's a big 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 part of my calling to listen to learn and to love so if we fail in this other part we'll do better next time And I have failed a lot in a lot of things, and I do try to do better next time. And that truly is the most important part, to continue to strive to do what's right. Okay. Um, we already talked about the card toppers, and we already did the thought of the day. It's time for my sip of coffee, because I really need this fuel to get going. Mm. Today, I just used milk. That, um, I was using this, uh, Starbucks creamer, caramel macchiato, 
not not worth it doesn't taste at all like the caramel mac macchiato at starbucks tastes more like chocolate milk and honestly when i want coffee i want coffee mm. and i did put a little too much milk in it today but it's fine all right let's look and see what we have under this beautiful leaf and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Now, you know, most of the time, I feel like when we're doing these pickle cards, these pickle cards represent your own space and your own spirit. Sometimes it represents someone else in your life. Now, being as the queen is female, it doesn't mean that this is a female person, just someone who holds these attributes. And the Queen of Pentacles attributes are fine and lovely she's a lovely person she does like her things she is wealthy she's very savvy when it comes to business however she does have a side that's a that can be a little um need a little work i guess i should say um one of the things that i want to mention about her she can be a little codependent if you know don't know what that word me means blah 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 then it's kind of the same as being uh, too enmeshed with another person, too en enmeshed in, in their business, too enmeshed to the point where it's affecting you and them in a negative way. So that kind of goes with, I'm not affected by the negative emotions or other, of others, but also think about what kind of negative emotions you might be putting out, even when you're just trying to protect someone and even maybe help them with their money because you're good at that. Um, you do have good intu intuition, so trust that. I think there was one more thing. Uh, I remember that she's a good listener, um, and that also goes along with our card of the day, um, which our thought of the day, which says in the back, continue to listen, to learn, and to love, even if someone else is negative, hurting, sad. Um uh, <clears throat> So if she is you today, just be aware of all those qualities that are around you today, all the um, qualities and possible, you know, enmeshment. So just kind of look at that and carry on because I think you're doing a good job. Now, let's see what we have under the, what do we call this? The arrowhead, the Indian arrowhead. I'm not even sure where it came from. And we have the Page of Rods. Now, you see in his hand, he is carrying a message. And what could this message be? Well, the thing about it is, is this card was upside down when I drew it. So, the message might actually be some bad news. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I just heard this quote. I'm sorry. I don't know who it's by, but basically, it's... And I may even get the numbers wrong, but it's basically um, 10, uh, we have, let's see, if something bad happens, 10% of it is what we can't control and 90% of it is how we react to it. I think I said that wrong, but basically it's talk, I'm talking about reaction. You may get some bad news today and of course you're going to want to react because you are going to react with negative emotion and feelings, and that's okay to have. It's good and appropriate to have. Now, when I say bad news, this is a daily read. This is not some devastating news. This is just probably more along the lines of, oh, there's a problem. You can't work on your project today until we get this deadline done or something like that, okay? So I don't want you to be worried or afraid of this news. It might even not come as a news or a letter. It might come as just a kink in the works, a block in the road um, of something not as major as you might think it is, okay? And that's another thing. Um, don't overreact and don't throw your negative emotions at someone else. Of course, we want to feel them and even express them. But with this card today, we want to remember, I, I don't know why I'm directing it um, at you in a different way, but I think it, I just have a feeling with this card. This card is uh, represents someone who's a little bit impulsive. 
Um, and so that is something that's going on here. And also, uh, uh, the reason I'm, it sounds like such a negative reading is because this card was also drawn upside down or inverted. And so we're reading some of the, um, darker characteristics of this card. But again, do not be afraid. Bad news is bad news. You have control over your life. You have control over how you react and you have control over how you rebuild. And again, like I said, it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. Okay. Now let's move forward. Let's look and see what we have here with the turtle. Um, and I did mention I would tell you about why this turtle represents virility. And I will say that I saw a very, very old, 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 like uh, this, it was a tortoise, I think. I think he was over, they, they said they believed him to be over 150 years old. And there he was in a rescue Z and he was having relations with his other very vigorously, the whole zoo had run over because it was kind of interesting. Okay, enough of that. Now, you have the Knight of Cups, and that turtle kind of goes in with it because the Knight of Cups can be, oh, well, okay, so he's virile. virile we know that. Um, he can also be a little oversexed sometimes, and that really has to do with his idea. And I'm saying his, but again, like I said, this can be male, female, or other. It's just the, um, it's just the characteristics of this card that I am reading. Um, so... It's just about that he's he's so romantic and he's so loving and sometimes this person feels like they can give some of that sexual healing <laughs> to those that they love. Now, what happens is sometimes it and for usual they're very romantic, they're very kind, they're very sweet, they're very open, they're charming. They detest violence, but they do want to protect their loved ones. This Nine of Cups, which is hearts, is always just a very loving figure, except dun, 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 when he's upside down, which he was. And in those kinds of ways, sometimes he can be not be real good about fidelity. Um, he can be a little manipulative, sometimes a little calculating, um, in order to get his way. Um, that's just something to watch out for today. And also, you know, think about who, who you are committed to and, and just remember that. And there's lots of ways to heal with love. <laughs> and remember, do not be affected by the negative emotions of others or, by the negative telling of your card of the day. This is just a little something to think about. That's all. I'm not saying you're going to go out and cheat on your spouse. Okay. I'm just saying it's something to think about. Food for thought. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jean? All right. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call out Jean now since I said that. Jean, it's nice that you are here and it's nice that you have given me so much support. I really appreciate that. And here we go with our happy shop cat. Cute as can be. And let us see what we have here. What do we have here? What, oh, isn't, isn't she beautiful? Again, while the cards depict male and female, this could be a male person with the characteristics that are imbued in this card. So, um, what we have here is this beautiful Queen of Wands. She's very charming. She's loved. In fact, she is adored by her people. She is not afraid to get down off of her high horse or her high heels and work with the tools that she has. She is actually a queen that will definitely work side by side with her people. She's the queen that if she hears of a baby being born in her kingdom, she might ride by with a gift basket. However, 
there are some things that we can talk about um, that you need to kind of watch out for today. Some food for thought. She has a fiery temper. Very passionate. Very emotional. And she does emote. Um, she does... She is someone in need of temperance. At least that's what they say about this card. But I think she's supposed to be fiery and untamed. So I don't really see her as needing temperance. I see her as someone who emotes. And I feel like you have a lot to say today. But again, I do want you to be careful about... Um, what kinds of things you are saying and how they may affect other people. Um, and as they respond, I'm not affected by the negative emotions of others. Continue to listen, to learn, and to love, even if someone else is angry, hurt, or fearful. So all in all, all the cards were drawn upside down. I almost flipped my deck. <laughs> but then I just decided to just keep going because sometimes, sometimes I'll flip the deck <laughs> and, uh, and it'll still come out backwards, if you know what I mean. So we've come to the end and I hope you found this to be just what you needed to hear. Please do take what resonates with you and do leave the rest and don't make life altering decisions or changes based on any pick a card, not even this one. Do connect with me on my other media platforms. Come see me for a reading if you're interested. That is something we can do virtually, actually. Um, and uh, you can just hit up my website, which is listed in the description of this video if you want to do something like that. Otherwise, I really look forward to seeing you next time.